Hey, Milda. Milda. I took some of your stew last time I went into the wild. You kept me going for a week. I felt like I could have put a strider in a sleeper hole. Enjoy it while it lasts. Sounds like you're serving up some uh, impressive provisions here. <sighs> Not again. You can have the discount too, but you'll have to come back later. I think you have me confused with someone else. Oven didn't send you? No. Oh, my apologies. It's just that his minions won't stop pestering me. <sighs> now I've even worn out my special grill. Since I'm in the midst of a crisis, perhaps you could skip to what it is you wanted? Some of your food? Of course. Are Alvin's people causing you problems? Oh, yeah. They constantly demand my best, but the equipment I need to make my signature dishes isn't built for batch cooking. And don't get me started on the Olven discount they feel so entitled to. And if you refuse? I make meals, not trouble. How did you end up in Chainscrape? Heard about a new and upcoming town at the edge of the frontier. Where there's a town, there's a tavern. I was in need of work. So I got myself out here and started cooking. Some of these people had never tasted proper boars and berries stew before. Anyway, next thing I knew, people kept coming back. Guess they like my food. More than an ale. Your last customer mentioned your cooking really kept him going out in the wild. Where I'm headed, I could use some of that. I would be happy to oblige, especially since you have the decency to ask pleasantly. But... But my special groove griddle is no more. Without it, I can't cook any of my signature dishes. I hate to think what'll happen when I'm forced to refuse Olven or his goons. Even if I already had the right ingredients, there's nothing I can do. Unless you can source me a temporary replacement? What do you need? For the ingredients. A few pieces of decent wild meat, and I'd say a big handful of bitter leaf stems. That'll do. As for the griddle, a corrugated metal panel might suffice until I can have a new one forged. You'd likely find one in a scrounger pile if you follow the river to the northeast. Don't worry, I'll clean it first. <laughs> You'll have no issue finding boars and bitter leaf on your way, assuming you're as much a hunter-gatherer as your clothing suggests. Thanks, Mildef. I'll keep an eye out. So that's what gratitude sounds like. And don't let anyone push you around, okay? If you say so. Already got enough meat and bitter leaf. Just need to grab a metal panel from a scrounger pile.
scroungers. Moldov said I could find a metal panel in one of their scrap piles. Panel. I would check another scrap pile. I think I have everything I need for Milda. Good thing, too. I can use a decent meal. Huh? Ah, there you are. I happen to receive another visit from Olven himself. He was pushy, but I stood my ground. And dare I say it, I even got my own back. Yes, I did. I'm listening. When I made his meal, I used three pinches of salt. Instead of two. Uh, each journey begins with a single step, I guess. I think I have everything you asked for. Then just as you have inspired me, let us see if I can return the favor. Time to cook. Next time you want the best provisions, you know where to find me. And your next order of any dish will be on the house. <laughs> Thanks. 
And don't forget to stand up for yourself. Funny you should say that. As it happens, I'm already cooking up my next portion of resistance. Hope to see you again. Talk up on some food before I head back out. Keep you going on your travels. 